Hello again everybody. So this time I head out in my community to see what is happening as it relates to the shutdown. So here, let's go. Let's take a look at what is happening all around us. Mom and Pop Sports Shop Close of course This is a community restaurant Close of course It's called Drifters Let me get a good shot of it yeah. I wonder what will become of People are in debt with their restaurants like this. At this hour, it's usually filled at the back there with a lot of cars, people coming to eat, closed. Oh, like this one, this is a convenience store. They sell little groceries and stuff. They're open. This is a recently renovated restaurant. It was just sold to a new owner and it's called the Ming's Kitchen and this is in a town called Port, a small town, Port Coburn of course this one is closed now this is the big boy McDonald's they sell food too as we all know and of course they have a long line they're open so the big boys have nothing to worry about it's only the mom and pop let us see over there too. Harvey's open franchise, big boys. Yeah, over there. That is uh, no frills. Well, that's food, so it's an essential service. Open treasure hunt, hunt, treasure hunt. Of course, that one is closed from day one. Goodwill closed. So it's very concert concerting to me that some are open, the big ones are open, and the small ones are closed. So what will happen in another couple of months? Some will go out of business, some will go bankrupt, and the big boys will smile. <laughs> Again, A and W franchise open. And of course, the gas station is open. Now this one is called Pita Pit. And that one is closed. And it's right beside the A&W, right over. Right beside that, the one. Yeah, so one is closed, one is open. This is a not so popular franchise. So you would wonder why some are open and some are closed. Is it fair? So this place sell groceries and clothes and stuff like that. So and they are closed. The one beside them, Goodwill, is closed. This is like a small man thing. But watch this now. Pet Value open. Dollarama open. No frills open. So let's go down in the town and let's see who is open and who is close and I can bet you my bottom dollar that the big boys will be open and the small boys will be closed the big fish so you see what is happening in this world the rich is getting so much richer while the poor is getting poorer because I'm sure in another couple of months, possibly year or years, a lot of these mom and pop places will be bankrupt because of what has just happened. Because already some of them was on the edge. But we're gonna look and see. All right, let's continue down to the downtown Port Coburn in the Niagara region. Uh, those are a series of small business. They are all basically closed. See? Uh, except for which one that? 
the convenience store <laughs> so it's good to have a convenience store so next time you're gonna open a business and this one is a pharmacy open as usual of course uh, here continuation of open and closed eyeglass is not a necessity so they're closed too but the best one to be closed is this one <laughs> yeah that's the one that's closed I guess you all know what it is yeah, well, and I hope that that one remain closed not just for the duration of this thing here the shutdown but I hope it remain closed forever I didn't say that my kids say that <laughs> yes we are coming to the small town in the square we're gonna see who is open and who is closed wait up there was 69 this one is 79 you see it's good to shop around look at that 79 and up there was what 69 eh so that's like 10 cent difference and i bet you all my banks are open but maybe not now maybe it's uh after hours yeah see big boys lcbo always that essential service eh they should be closed the banks are usually opened but look at that essential what's so essential about drinking right even the funeral home is closed so if you got your dead you better just keep it until another year or two time <laughs> mr subway is open mm. Uh, we need food, right? All the major supermarkets are open. Seven uh, Eleven open. So, you know, this is giving us an insight into this kind of business you must get into and the kind of business you must avoid. You know, this should teach us a lot of lesson. If you're gonna open a business, make sure it's an essential service. It has something to do with some food or something and, um, you know, I don't know, like a supermarket, whatever. But then opening a supermarket is, is not even possible because guess what, you can't, you can't compete with the big guys. So that would be not even wise either. But a convenience store is not a bad idea, man. Because 7-Eleven is almost like a convenience store. Yeah, and they're, they're open. Um, let me see who else. Food Basics. The one always more for less. They're open. A lot of cars and stuff is over there. No long line like Costco line the other day. Yeah, I hope you guys watched my previous video about Costco. And look at the long line. That was, um, you had to wait for one hour to reach inside to do your shopping. Oh well, I guess it depends on who, because this is, seem to be, oh no, it's, it's closed. The bank, well it's closed now because of after hours, but this one is open. Healthy covered, so things that has to do with health, open. Now, here is the dilemma now. This is a small, um, this one right here. I'm gonna go a little closer. This one is also a dining and takeout, but they're open. So why is it that some of the other restaurants couldn't do the same? I don't understand. It's not fair, man. Because this little one is open and the other, similar restaurant are closed why wow wendy's i'm sure they're open yeah they're, they're open oh the big boy shoppers juggling never they'll never close man no matter what happens so see there wendy's is open yeah wendy's open uh, yep. 
This one is closed. It's a little restaurant. What's the name? Uh, can't even get it properly. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're closed. So I don't, th and I don't think they are dying in, in or dying in. They're, they're basically like takeout service. So why are they closed? I don't understand. Now this one, RBC, I was shocked the other day, they got me real nervous. Even though I don't have a lot of money in the bank, but they were basically not allowing anyone um, on the inside with the tellers. You could go on the inside, but only to the machine. And that really got me concerned. And I asked the guy why, and the guy said, it's for their safety. So I say, how is it that Scotia is open, but um, they are closed. They say they don't really care about other banks. They do what is safe for their staff. All right, so RBC, I mean CIBC here is open for business. Um, so the banks are always going to be open for business. But I think... Um, they allow you to, they encourage you, I should say, to go in like two at a time and keep your distance, yeah. This one is called the Bargain Store. And this guy is a smart guy because he has a similar thing like what Walmart would do with clothes and, um, what is it? Uh, toys and stuff like that so and a little food stuff so they're smart it's a good business to get into they're always an essential service so unfortunately most of these small businesses uh, this is by uh, the port and that's what I call out here right over there um, most of these places are closed Close, 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 close. For the, I, I'm sorry for these people, man. I, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for these people. Huh. Wow. Everything is just shut down. So only a selected few, and especially the big few. That's my c concern. I think in another couple of months, we're gonna see a lot of this sign for sale because people are not doing well and uh, I'm sure this was taking place from before the shutdown so we're gonna be seeing a lot of those a lot 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 of these so get ready to have some money to buy some get some of these bargain people these are how the rich get rich they crash the economy and then the ones with the money scoop up things are cheap at a bargain price yeah a lot of people don't know you know life is a game it is just a game and you gotta know how to play the game eh yeah so the big boys control the game they have made their move to shut down everything in the name of you know the thing oh see another one here another business for sale yeah, and it's not even. I think we're going to be seeing lots more of these. Yes, sir. Yeah, these are like. What was this? It was a bakery and cafe. Yeah, we're going to be seeing lots and lots more of these. <coughs> yes. You know, in another couple of months. I, I can bet you, man, you're going to be seeing foreclosure and it's going to hit the real estate market too. You know, it's raining out there right now. Somebody said it's not, um, now is not a good time to buy real estate. Just hold off, hold off, because if you hold off, this thing had skyrocketed to the moon, man, and uh, it, it's, it's gotta come crashing down. So hold, hold off until, you know, things, Ah, uh, this thing is allowed to run in the economy. Then you're gonna see, you're gonna see foreclosures like crazy. Let me see what around here is open. 
Close, close, close. Only on one thing here. I've been noticing that the Chinese are open. Sale. Some of them. I've been noticing that the uh, second Chinese, I saw one in Niagara that was open. Okay. You know what I don't understand? I'm still trying to figure out the power of America. America is the only country that could get an entire globe to cooperate with them in shutting down these countries. Yeah? America. And that, that's why I believe in my Bible. The Bible in Revelation 13 verse 15 down says, I think it's verse 12 down, says um, He causes all all small and great rich and poor free and bond you know everybody to follow so wow when america speaks the world listens whether we like it or not that was just recently taken over so the clothes until further notice, I guess. Yep. Yeah, when America um, uh, says close everybody, close around the globe, they're powerful, man. Because every country is following this shutdown. And I am still wondering if this is all necessary. You know, and I'm not saying the virus is not to be taken seriously. I'm not saying it is doesn't exist, but people die every day, and thousands of people die every year from the flu, from cancer, heart attack, stroke, terrorism, wars, and they never shut down the entire globe. This must be the fulfillment of that Bible prophecy. I'm sure more is yet to come. I'm expecting our rights to be taken away. I'm expecting the Bible call it the mark of the beast. I'm expecting that they're going to use this situation to, to, to take away and rip every right that a citizen have. See, even now they're having this thing where you can, where, 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 um, I guess you can tell on your neighbor that they are not following the rules and they are not being staying in their indoors to get quarantined and all of that. And I understand that somewhere in the States soon they are going to be um, giving you a tattoo and that tattoo is to identify those who have been tested and those who have not and I guess soon it will reach the point where if you don't get what they say you must have then you won't be allowed to buy or sell or do any commercial transaction look out for that people because this is bigger than just a flu virus I am sure this is bigger than a flu virus trust me this is going somewhere and i would be shocked if we just recover and everything get back to get back on track and get back to normal i would be shocked because there is something bigger than that you know something else is coming uh, you see you must always create a reason for doing something you know it's just like 911 when everything um those buildings came tumbling down oh man they jumped on that and they allowed they took away people's right and people was willing to give up their right because it's a worthy cause you know it's for the good of mankind so that's all they are gonna say that's how it's gonna come it's never gonna just come and and, and be so obvious that they can't make it too obvious so they have to find something that justify their taking away people's rights so look out for it look out for it I'm sure I'm not wrong something else is gonna come out of this lot of things gonna come out of it but especially we'll be under more surveillance and we'll be under more control 
more and more government control and government involved in our lives, in our children's life. Every step you take now, it will matter to the government. That's where this thing is going. And so we look out for it because, as I said, I don't think it's just based on this virus. No way. No way. You don't shut an entire globe because of a virus. Because people are always dying all over the world. As a matter of fact, um, just recently I was watching the news in Canada and they were saying, oh, can you get the virus from cash? And he says, of course you can. So see right there, there's a reason to get rid of cash. When you get rid of cash, everything goes through the bank. Every transaction goes through the bank. Now, if you... Um, if everything goes through the bank, it means you have absolutely no little leeway, no little freedom. Everything you you do is like you're reporting to the big brother. Yeah, they want to know everything you do. So you get a $50 want to know where did you get it and how did you spend it when everything goes through the bank and there's no cash because cash you know gives you a certain amount of freedom wow and of course the great Tim Martins always fresh you can't dine in but they're open so you can drive through right there and you do your your um, buy your coffee so they are open so most of the big boys are open, you know, if not all of them. Hello again, everybody. So this time I head out in my community to see what is happening as it relates to the shutdown. So here, let's go. Let's take a look at what is happening all around us.